Okay, next up we have the derailment thought process. And the way I like to conceptualize this is using medication side effects um, as a prototypical example of uh, how question writers like to go after this concept. They'll give you a chief complaint or a chief concern. And then what they'll do is they'll give you uh, a long history which then basically changes the question in a way where, where you would not expect it based on the initial chief concern or chief complaint. Um, most of the time, they'll give you a lot of medications and they'll ask you what is the medication that is causing this side effect or the person has started on XYZ medication and what is the most likely side effect that's going to happen, right? So famously, if you have uh, olanzapine, one of the, the famous um, side effects of that is that you'll get metabolic syndrome, right? Uh, there's also, you know, there's different ways to go after this question and this concept because you can have, uh, let's for instance, interstitial nephritis can be caused by a series of medications, right? And so what question writers really want to know is, do you know all the things that can cause nephritis? Or if uh, if I give you A, B, C, D, E, um, and you know, five of five of these, four of me, these medications don't cause nephritis, but one of them does. Um, do you know? that it's, you know, cephalosporins uh, versus if NSAIDs was the answer versus if sulfa drugs. So the, they won't give you cephalosporins, sulfa drugs, and NSAIDs, right? It won't be A, B, C, right? But maybe one of them will show up uh, and they want to understand, do you understand that all these medications could possibly cause that? So you want to not only study uh, individual medications, but you want to un understand these medications uh, together um, because that can really clue you in and help you answer some of these derailment questions.